1075 GCI, the Shy's number one for hip hop and RB. All right, man, the tour is in town. Everybody cannot wait to see Dirk as he hits the stage, United Center, but he got people with him, man. Fred O'Bang is with him. What's happening, big dog? BBZ and Rock and Reed. I don't even like baby that's scared named GB and Tunnel, and that made no sense to speak. Hey, man. Hey, yep, from Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> from Louisiana. What's up, bro? Knowledge. Hey man, look, I want to tell you before we even get, we even jump into the interview. Top, bro, got me. I had a rough time last year. Last year was a little rough for me. Yeah. And Top literally, like, was one of the records I played constantly, dog. Like, it was just one of them joints that made me feel good. I made DJs play it, like, play it. As soon as the Hennessy hit me, bang, play it. Yeah. Man, hey, so, hey man, congratulations on that record, man. I, I, I mean, because it, it happened kind of in the middle of a pandemic. Do you think that kind of slowed stuff down? Because that record was huge to me. Uh, I think so. Probably so. Yeah. I, I dropped that in the beginning of the pandemic. Right, right, right. But, I mean, you, you just dropped, you just dropped two face bang two. Uh, how you feeling about that right now? Good. I always want better, so I, I'll be stuck in the mind frame and I'll be content on what I achieve, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Keep striving. Yeah, I mean, it, it's dope, though, bro. Yeah. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah, I think it's my best one. Yeah, it, it, it's dope, bro. I mean, like, I, I'm, I'm listening to it, and, and the joint with, with you and Roddy Rich, what, I think it's, like, the last one left. Yeah. yeah, bro. Yeah. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. How has it been, though, man? Like, on tour right now, and, I mean, pretty much, you ain't you ain't threw a brick out there. You know what I mean? So you, you, you got high records, hot projects. How has it been so far? It's been good. I just be, like I said, I be trapped in the work mode and, and want more, so I don't really be basking in the in the little moments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, now, here's the thing. I was looking at another interview you did. Now, they say, like, when you when you in album mode and work mode, no sex, which is crazy to me. Yeah, it's called bangism. <laughs> what, what, so explain that to everybody, dog. So bangism is when you tune out sex, uh, dating, or any other distractions during, uh, like, during the process of a goal, I get like, it. It can be short term or long term. Okay. So you might just you might want to uh, fast or something for like a week on a certain food or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like that. Well, man, that's God bless you, brother. You're a <laughs> strong man, man. <laughs> strong man. Strong man. Hey, um, uh, now this is this is one of the things too. I, I was checking out and I. And I and I liked your perspective about it too. When you was talking about you, when you had to sit down, you had some time, and, and you were talking about jail in a sense, like yo, you was like that was some some hard mental stuff that you was going through. Talking about being in a hole yeah. and and that thing. Can, can you talk especially to? Because it seems like to me, and maybe to you too, is that people kind of just do stuff. They not scared of jail. It's, jail's not really where you want to be at. Bro. That be the people who ain't never been. Or sometimes they didn't been and they always jumping bombs and they ain't never went <clears throat> went DOC. Okay. Yeah, see DLC and just going to jail, two different things. Ah, uh, okay. So what is explain that? I don't know. So DLC is when you get um you get processed, you take time and you gotta go in the system. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's where everybody got people who got twenty, thirty, they ain't going nowhere. You uh, know what I'm saying? So they don't they they not trying to see you go nowhere, you know what I'm saying? You in the you in the real war zone. Now you know jail they get like that too, but regular jail, like, you know what I'm saying, you, most of the time you, you know, you pre trial most time you either got a bond or you going you, you know you got a good chance of going home. Mm -hmm. Once you go to DLC, you ain't going home until they find a date. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what that's where it can get that's where it get real. Like you said, it's yeah. people in there that know you probably got less time than them and they ain't yeah. they probably ain't gonna ever yeah, get like out. I was, I was playing cards one day and um so we were just running like, yeah man, I gotta I got I gotta rock with you with that music when I get home. I'm like, what you got love? Mind you don't pose an angle or somebody got love. But I was just in the midst of the game. I'm like, what you got left, man? I got about 18 or something. I ain't never nothing. I'm like, man, I think I left something in the microwave. Like, oh. <laughs> That's about to let you lay down. Yeah, man. <laughs> man, 18 more summers. At yeah, because, like, you know, when you're in there, you become somebody like Joe. So they, like, I done had, like, they not want you to leave from bottom. I done had somebody write my name on a list to not get shipped sometimes to keep me from bottom because I'm their Joe's. Whoa. You know what I'm yeah, that that's crazy. Yeah, that, that's the thing that I and, I, and I, that's what I took from it because it, it just seemed like, especially like right now, you done been in jail and you seen this type of success. And then have you looked at other rappers and have you ever even big homie somebody like, hey, bro, you might want to slow down a little bit because you on that route to might have to go take it take some time off. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I gave a lot of pointers. Like, um, probably I think I done talked to 
I talked to a couple of people like Chopper, like a couple of other people, younger people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let them know, like, bro, that ain't what you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, uh, Chopper first time around us, his mom was like, man, y'all gotta talk to him, you know, he'll, with the Dracos and the ooh doo. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, so I had to talk to him, you know. Yeah, because it's social media. But at the end of the day, like, as far as men, I feel like we learn by uh, getting the intro, but we learn, like, we don't learn from just being talked to, we learn from hitting our head. So that's a that's a real big thing with us. Yeah, we gotta stop that though. You know what I mean? We gotta I mean, I, I, it's in us. You gotta you know stop I mean? that, because the thing of it is, this is what, this is just coming from me outside looking in, I don't know, right? But I'm just saying like, to me, I feel like once you hear in the, in the successful space, and I get it, because I talk to other people and they say, hey, you still in your mind the dude. You still ain't got used to being famous and rich and having records because your boys know you as a certain way. But I feel like, and you tell me I'm wrong, it should be like, man, at this point, make money, have sex, I guess, for you when you're not making an album, and, and, and party your face off, and keep repeating that for years because it just it keeps you out of trouble. Does that make sense or not? Mm. I don't know, man. It's a good trouble. You can find trouble in a whole lot of places. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like... What what do you can you do and what you can't do, you know what I'm saying? See me, I'm jail made me appreciate the little things, so I love being in my bed. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I love playing video games. I ain't really a club type. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it's different shows from different folks. See so you are so not with the club like, but you got you had one of the top club records out. You did you not go in there and pop some bottles and get a chance to feel feel nah, what's going on? I, I, I pop out when they pay me to be there. Okay. Like uh yeah, I, I don't it just ain't your thing. It just ain't my thing. You know what? It's, you know what? I, get I done did my clubbing days already. Okay. And plus, my, our, back in Louisiana, our clubs are a whole different energy than other clubs. So these other clubs don't even be fun to me. Okay, well, I, well like, We don't even have sections at our clubs. Not, nah? That's interesting. Most of our clubs don't have sections. All right. That's just a different way of bad rules, huh? Yeah, we just in there. You it's in there. It's everybody just in there. You got a little rotation around the club coming through, like a little uh, dance line, you know what I'm saying, that go around the whole club. Yeah. Just fall in. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. I know one thing, Bad Rules, Louisiana Perry got the best food in the country, and I argue Appreciate Appreciate anybody, you. anybody. Now, now, this is another thing, man, that, that was interesting to hear. About about your take on church, and they I mean, but your records, the records you got, has some spiritual yeah. feel to them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it ain't just like ah, ah I'm gangsta. It's, it, it, they got you got a different vibe, especially in, especially in the new project. Yeah. Like, well, why don't you feel like going to church? Or, uh, explain yeah. that. A little I, don't, bit. I don't believe in doing something I believe in. Okay, I feel like I'm doing something fake or wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, I. I even had a problem with it. I used to hate praying when I'm in a bad spot in life because I feel like, oh, damn, I ain't pray all this time right here but I'm praying when I'm in trouble. You know what I'm saying? But now, nah, uh, I don't believe in the Bible or church. I believe in God, but not the Bible or church. Hmm. Yeah. Go ahead. You can't just I mean, throw that out there. You got to cover something, G. Come on. <laughs> uh, for one, it was written by men. That's what killed me right then. And okay. then it ain't been written. Like, okay, if this God is truth, right? The truth is the truth is pure. Once it's changed or put in some, somebody else's testimony or their own words, it's completely changed now. It's not the God's word no more. It's His word. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, it's been written, rewritten a thousand times. Plus, if you break the really break the Bible down, it really sounds like rules more like rules than uh, actually like the path. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I feel like it's, if you really break down rules, thou should not kill, thou should not steal, thou should work and all this. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. It sounds like the, the slave master gave it to the slave and like, hey, this, this is what God said. You do, mm -hmm. Don't be around here stealing the killing. Yeah. Don't work this field for me. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. So I, I got to ask, I mean, again, because the music, the way the music is. So what is, where are you getting your, like, your belief system from then? Uh, I just, <clears throat> cause I, I, like I said, when I was in jail, I used to be just, just sitting there, you got to know, just time to think. If you were just sit there and think about the Bible and just go deeper and deeper, you'd get a headache. And you know what I'm saying? So I just choose to believe in God. He fuck with, oh, excuse me. He, he rock with me mm -hmm. and I rock with him. Uh -huh. And we just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, I, hey, look, I, I don't, um, if, and I think for for anything, and, and I you know I, I I can say my testimonies or anything, but yeah. I think whatever I you know, got working yeah, for you. I don't you. know what color he is. I don't know how his hair is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know where he's from. I just know it's a higher power that's been helping me out through my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So I don't choose to 
to, to think about where he came from. Did he move a rock or something while mm -hmm. he was asleep? And, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm like getting into all that. I just rock with him, he rock with me. We gonna keep it tight. There you go. And it's yeah. working out. Yeah. It's working out like a what? Yeah. See, you know, go go keep going with it. Yeah. This is this is my thing too. Uh, you talked about it a little bit in some other places about about your relationship with your parents. Now I just got in trouble. On on the blogs, I was on the blogs for some. I I just made a quick comment because I got a daughter. And I mean, well, I got three kids, and I and I made a comment. Dude was on it. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, guy broke his son's birthday gift because he got suspended for for the bus for ten days. Ten days, and I said that you know that he as long as he ain't touch him or nothing. That was. You know, that was a proper way to parent. You know what I mean? What you what do you think if you hear something like that? If you see somebody disciplining their kids online? Mm. It can go two different ways because embarrassment, is a, it, it sticks with somebody. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a solid for what a special kid. I love kids. I ain't got nothing yet. Right. But I wouldn't have did that. I oh. probably wouldn't just, I just wouldn't have gave it to him for about two okay. weeks or whatever. Um, okay. But. You got some. You got to watch what you do with your kid, cause some things stick with them. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I still remember when my auntie or my mom would whoop me in certain places and stuff, and I was completely embarrassed about it. And I still think about it. You know what I'm saying? But you, you ever do the thing again that got you in trouble? Probably so. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed away from it. I was like, hell no. I would no more smoke. But man, hey, this just another thing, bro. I, and I always like to ask, because, I mean, you've been doing your thing for a minute, but still technically kind of a, a new artist in a sense. I mean, how does it feel being on tour? Dirk, this is a big tour for you. This is a huge tour. How, how... Oh, I'm I ain't on tour. With okay, you're not on tour. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, he just brought me out to one of the shows before. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Well, how is it feeling, though, to just be a part of a big, bigger situation? Uh, it's a blessing. Like, um, it's just, uh, like, from coming, coming up from where I'm from, coming up from, but we all won't really get love like that, you know. We'll never get people like to give us pointers and stuff. And Dirk, one of the people, Dirk Gates, Moneybag, T Grizz, they they one of the people I can call and be like, hey, like literally last night I just called them about um um like my like tour sets. I was like, man, I think my music be sounding low. What I need to do, 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 give them the pointers and stuff. So it'd be a blessing to have people like that who can show you genuine love. And really give you real advice without wanting something from you. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. That's cool. That, I think that's the good thing that you able to, and people must rock with you anyway. Cause I, I knowing the music bit, a lot of people don't get secrets away, dog. Right. They just let you kind of sit out there. They let like, cool with you in the in the let public eye. Let you draw. Yeah, yeah. They let you figure it out, man. Hey, I, I just just tell everybody about the project again, man. It, it's a. It, I want to tell you right now again, dog. Top got me through it. This the, the new project. Yeah. I'm gonna be rolling through this yeah. a, a bunch of times, bro. Yeah. I, I really rock with you. I think you. A talented dude. Tell Chicago, man, how to stay in tune with you, G. Uh, Two Face Bang out on all platforms right now. Follow me on Instagram, F R E D O B A N G. I do follow back and I do write back if you ain't on no weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be weirdos, y'all. Don't be weirdos. You already know what it is, GCI.